Hi guys, Scott and welcome back to another video. Today guys will be working on the insect study. So we have some friends that own some bees and they asked us if we could come over and so we did. And they're just gonna show us the process of the, the beehives and all that. So we're gonna learn it, it's gonna be so fun. If it's more than 90% capped, you're good. If it's a quarter capped, a quarter uncapped, uh, you'll end up with honey that goes bad. They say that honey is one thing that never goes bad. If it's got too much moisture in it, it will get moldy. So this has been sitting here for about a week, and that means that this uh, any honey that comes out of here is not probably going to be as moist, as high moisture content as it was when we first put got it out. Now. It's a smell like it smells like honey. This is just to open the cells. Any of the ones that I couldn't get to with a knife. Just to as much as we can and they keep making more and towards the end of the season in the fall we don't take honey out we we'll take it in the late summer but in the fall they need to get their stores up and we take care of it. Our last harvest and probably in August. This one is just all over the place. The, those, that, the first one was nice and smooth. And you get, we got slaw and stuff here. It's just crazy. So what are you doing? I'm peeling or cutting off the caps, which is the covering or the roof of each cell. You see the cells, they're all hexagonal. The caps are also hexagonal. And you can see that, that shape there and that glistening, sweet, wonderful, shiny honey right there and if you get it just right I mean it's almost dry see just not very much at all if you can just slice it off that's the top that's the inside and because this dips down and comes back up I'm going to scratch this with this little fork we so would, that we, we would like to kind of get them to make a very flat frame so We'll go over that with the, the hot knife when we're finished. Kind of remove the extra comb sticking out and get it to build even comb. So it's a more honey and easier for us to, to harvest. Uh, okay, that's a large frame uh, foundation. They still make their own comb, but the foundation gives them something to attach it to uh, a little more easily so they can build up bigger. Yeah, the, bees the bees make it themselves, they're kind of sloppy about it. Mm -hmm. It takes them longer too. So this is just a, a guide to, and, and if we can make it more regular, then uh, it'll be easier to, to cut the capping soft and extract the, the comb. What's the difference between a drone and a worker bee? Yep. A drone is a male bee. So you're a drum. You're useless. <laughs> you're just supposed to make the girls happy. Okay. Hold that. Pick that up. Are you strong enough? Sorry. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that in here. It's sticky all over you, and you have to go in and wash your hands off. But that's all right. It's good sticky. Okay. Now this one we're only going to spin one side because the other side. Oh, no, this one's open. Okay. Yeah, this one's open. Do okay. not spin on this side. Just lick your fingers. I'll show you. <laughs> Don't wash your hands. It just, it does it more smoothly, I think. Uh, sometimes it works better, sometimes not so much than the manual knife, the sharp knife. It just melts off the top. You kind of go back and forth and see how it just slides down. 
like the other one does, only there's not as much sawing, it's more of a smooth glide going across. Hold on to my hand, hold on to my hand. Just light, light like that, see? Okay, that's good. Now the one to the to the right and up, just right there, just for a little lightness. Get the, the focus in there. Okay, this one and that one. See how you can control the pressure and the direction? You like that? Yeah. Okay, good. That's enough. That's enough. Okay. You can just put this in here. You don't have to worry about the cappings being on there because they will get filtered out after this thing is spun. These five frames, probably close to 10 pounds. What do you think, honey? A little more than that? We'll see. We'll find out. Yes, yes. We'll feel how heavy this one is. Just hold it. That's only one side. It's got a lot of honey on it. Oh, wow. See mm -hmm. how thick that honey is? Look at how thin it is on the other side. They're not always even. When it comes in. bucket up by the sides and take it into the kitchen. Matter of fact, it'll be a little bit easier if you do this. Okay. Just don't drop it. Don't make a mess. Now, do there you go. Yeah, when you drop it, your, your name is Mud. Yes. <laughs> Turn it so that the scout is towards the front. In front of you. Keep going. There you go. Keep going. Bring it over to the edge. Cardboard. And that's good. We started here about seven or eight years ago. Um, the thing was that 29 years ago, this very month, I went outside where I lived in Oregon and I stepped on a bee. And I came inside and go ahead and start opening that. Just open this, no, no, no. just There's lift this, bit. lift this a little and hold that down from it just a bit. There you go. Now open it up a little bit more. And it hurt, and I went inside, and by the time I got to my kitchen, I had blurred vision, and my speech was, I was all kind of slurring my words, and now I'll start closing it. And watch until it gets just up to the bottom of those rings. 
And a little more. A little more. And go like this. And I'm gonna fold it, fold it right there underneath the string. And bring oops, it's in the middle, just was my vision blurry and my speech slurry, I sank down to the floor. And a friend of mine was visiting me at the time, and I pointed up to the shelf to some allergy stuff that I used for some other allergy. I forget what it was, just, you know, antihistamine thing. And I said, give me that, please. And I took that and a big glass of water, and in about five minutes I was sitting up and seeing clearly and speaking clearly. But I'd always heard that bee, bee venom allergy, bee sting allergy was cumulative. Each time it happened, it would get worse. So I avoided bees for the next 20 or 21 years. And then outside about, it's been about 10 years ago, I went outside and I stepped on a bee. I like walking barefoot, but I didn't see the bee. And I washed it off, I got the stinger out and all that, and I waited to start feeling woozy, and I didn't. There was nothing but pain in my foot. And my husband, who had kept bees back when he lived in Albion, Michigan, back in the late 80s, early 90s, and loved to keep bees, and I kept telling him, well, if you want to bury your wife, um, go ahead. But then I got that sting and nothing happened. I said, okay, go for it. And I've gotten at least 50 stings since then and I haven't had any deleterious or adverse effects. So things can change. Body chemistry actually changes every seven years. Your whole, every cell in your body is, is uh, replaced over a seven year period. So it would have been about three, three cycles for me. So something changed. I'm very grateful because bees. So we got some bees one time and they were in the back of the car. So Martha goes and gets some water. Some of them got out. Yeah. I and, guess. and and the, the bee came over and with its tongue licked the water off of her finger. So she saw a bee tongue for the first time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think they were in the they were in the back of the car. Some of them have gotten out of what they call a nuke. It's a small hive box. Mm -hmm. And they were in the in the back part, and they were gonna toast out there. They were gonna die, and I wanted them to come in. So I got got a little saucer, put a little water in there, so they have something to drink. And they started coming over and looking at it, and I held, dip my finger in, and held it up. And this bee came over there, click click click. So for the first time ever, I not only could see a bee tongue, but it was licking water off of me. And I said, that's so cool. <laughs> But I, I rescued about two thirds of the bees that were out there. The rest of them, I just opened up the windows, and wherever they went, they went. But uh, I'd, I'd gather up a few, and I carried them out, and put them in front of their hive, and they went back and got some more. It's really cool. So that's one of the bee stories. So be cool. So a uh, bee comes up and it finds all this honey and so they start licking it and then it goes back to its wh whichever home it's from and then I guess they do a dance and it alerts all the other ones that there's honey nearby and so they all come and look at it until it's dry. Yeah. So in an hour or two we'll have a lot of bees here. This is the end of this video. If you guys did enjoy, please like, subscribe, and also appreciate you guys. I will see you all in the next video. Bye!